Welcome to our latest Heart Shaper assembly. Have you heard the phrase, you are very wise, before? Or the word wisdom? I wonder if you can describe what it means in a sentence. Why don't you pause the video for a few minutes and share with your teacher what you think the word wisdom means and maybe also share the names of some people you think are wise. How did you get on? In the dictionary, the word wisdom is described as good sense, the ability to make good and right decisions. And I wonder who you thought were wise? On my list were parents and teachers. Maybe you named some specific people too. Maybe people you know, or maybe famous people. Here are a few well-known people that I thought of from the past. There's Einstein or Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King, and Rosa Parks. I wonder, maybe you could look some of them up and see why they were wise and what their history is all about. Do you know what the opposite of wise is? I hope you're shouting out, foolish! In today's True Bible Story, we're going to hear what Jesus had to say about two builders. One was wise and one was foolish. The story comes in the first book in the New Testament of the Bible, that's Matthew, and in chapter 7 and verses 24 to 29. Maybe you can look the verses up after this assembly and read it for yourselves. The story is known as a parable. Do you know what a parable is? It's a story with a meaning. Jesus told the people lots of wonderful stories, but he didn't tell them just so that they could hear a great story. He told them so that people would learn something important about God and about him, something wise. So listen carefully to our story today. It's read by Peter from Juice Puppets. Everyone who hears these things I say and obeys them is like a wise man. The wise man built his house on rock. It rained hard and the water rose. The winds blew and hit that house. But the house did not fall because the house was built on rock. But the person who hears the things I teach and does not obey them is like a foolish man. The foolish man built his house on sand. It rained hard the water rose and the winds blew and hit that house and the house fell with a big crash. When Jesus finished saying these things, the people were amazed at his teaching. Jesus did not teach like their teachers of the law. He taught like a person who had authority. I hope you enjoyed our true Bible story from 2000 years ago. I wonder what you noticed from the story. Here is a short video of the story for you to watch.
hope you enjoyed that film. Remember this story that Jesus told is a parable, a story with a meaning. When Jesus had told the story, many people heard it and then went away, probably thinking, what a great story, that was fun, yet not waiting to understand what it was that Jesus wanted them to understand and learn. If they had waited, they could have learned what Jesus wanted them to know and understand, because that is why he told parables, so that people would learn something new, something about him and something about his father, God. So can you see what Jesus wanted? The people listening then and us today to learn. Did you spot in the Bible reading and the film the difference between the wise man and the foolish man? They both heard the same words and the same instructions, but one listened and put them into practice, whilst the other didn't listen and certainly didn't put what he had heard into practice. Jesus said that the wise man was the man who listened and did what he was told. The foolish man was the man who listened and didn't do what he was told. So what? What can we learn from today's Heart Shapers story? Jesus said in the Bible that those who are wise are those who listen and put what they learn into practice. For a Christian, it's about them listening specifically to Jesus' teachings in the Bible and putting them into practice. It's a really good thing to be wise. Before we have our song for today, let's pray. And if you agree with my prayer at the end, don't forget, Amen means so be it. I agree with that. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, thank you for your word in the Bible and particularly the things we can learn from Jesus' parables, parable of the two builders. Please help us to be wise by listening to the things we're told and putting them into practice. Amen. I'll see you again soon with another Heart Shapers assembly, but as we finish, here is a well-known song about the wise and the foolish builders. Why don't you join in as the words appear on screen? Take care. And God bless.